Damn it. Hey everybody, welcome back. And uh, today, we're gonna fix the leak on the shovel head transmission. This. We're gonna get rid of this. Part of that is what came out uh, when I took this off. But this all here is what's been slowly leaking out of the transmission over the past week, uh, a couple weeks. Um, but I finally got the parts in. Uh, it took about a week to get it and uh, it should fix it. So uh, when I was taking this apart, um, the super nut and stuff, like everything looks like it's sealed on that. It didn't look like any oil was getting past the seals. Uh, I took the sprocket off and on the back side of the sprocket, uh, you can see where oil was slinging uh, and it had a bunch of debris and shit. So uh, definitely that's where our leak is coming from. The front side was dry. So how are we gonna fix that? Uh, this is how. So there's a guy named Ray up in Canada. He makes these spacers and as you see on the inside, it has an O-ring. All right, so he machines these spacers and then uh, takes one of these O-rings, puts a groove inside and uh, puts an O-ring inside. So what that'll do, um, if you see here with this main shaft, you see there's a flat back in there. Um, so this O-ring will seal against that flat and keep oil from going past and into the splines. All right, so um, there's a lot of guys on the shovel head forums that have run these and they said once they put it in, they no longer had a leak. So um, our leak wasn't real bad. If we run the bike, it's okay. Uh, if the bike sits though, it definitely seeps out past uh, that main shaft, uh, counter shaft. Um, we, I'll, put, uh, I'll put Ray's email down at the bottom of this video. Uh, I'll, I'll put it in the description too uh, for any of you guys that want to get one of these spacers. Um, he usually, I emailed him, he responded back in like three, four hours. So I uh, shipped it out the next day and I had it within a week. So it came from Canada, so it took a little bit longer. But uh, he gives you a whole list, uh, detail, uh, instructions on how to put this in, what to check for, how to put it in properly. Uh, he includes some extra O-rings just in case you fuck them up. So, um, because you are trying to go past those uh, threads for the sprocket, and uh, he said sometimes people get them hung up. So, uh, really the main thing is just be super careful when you put these on. I've already put this on once. Um, it does fit really nice. It is nice and snug. So, um, we're going to get this thing on here, and then hopefully we'll fix our leak. So, um, yeah that'll that'll do it so we're gonna put this thing on and then i'll put it back together and i'll come back and talk to you all So, got everything in here. We got our spacer in, our new one that has the O-ring, uh, our new uh, seal. Uh, this is the old style. I got this from Harley. They actually had them in stock. Uh, I like the one that I had in there previously that gems because it has a double seal, but Harley had this one in stock, so uh, we're putting the original style in. So, shouldn't really be any problems, but we'll see. Um, but everything is all together um, the seals in there nice this thing is definitely snug um, that uh that spacer is uh is in there so we'll put our little key in here so that our spacer will turn with our shaft come on
All right, so we have that in there. So everything turns nice. And a uh, little key is. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely tight. So, um, yeah. So that's going to do it for that. Um, now we got to do is put this thing back together for the 4,000th time. Um, if y'all want to see how this thing goes together, I have other videos where I put it together. I don't think y'all need to see me put 52 roller bearings and all the other crap in there. So, um, yeah, we're going to clean this thing up, get it all back together, and then uh, we'll come back. Stay tuned. All right, everybody. So we got it all back together. Uh, new spacers in. Hopefully, we have no leaks. Um, got everything cleaned up. So, um, yeah. I'm going to go ride it later today, probably. Make sure we're good. Belts. Might need to loosen it up a little bit, but it should be pretty good. We'll find out once the... Uh, once the clutch gets hot, or the motor gets hot and warms up, we'll see how much that belt tightens um, to see if we need to loosen it a little bit. So, but it should be good. Um, so, as far as that, we're done. The other thing I did um, last week, uh, when I did, right after I did this uh, pedal, um, was I switched out the lines. I had those copper lines on here. You notice there's no more oil filter. Uh, we have about 500 miles on this motor, so, um, you know, if it's going to fucking chew some metal up, it's going to do it during that time. So, a lot cleaner, a lot less clutter. Built these stainless lines here. Um, they run all up, and then I got rubber up here. That way we don't have any problems with cracking. But these tuck in here a lot nicer. They fit a lot nicer than the copper ones we had on here. Not having that oil filter there helped a lot because then we were able to run it properly. Uh, the only piece of copper I still have is this vent line. Um, that's simply because I didn't have any quarter inch stainless tubing. So, um, but yeah, so uh, for the most part, bikes should be good to go now. So uh, the only other thing we got to do is at some point swap out those tanks. Uh, put the fat bobs on here and uh, I have a plan for that. Uh, we're not going to use the stock mounts and stuff. Uh, we're going to do kind of a suspended top mount um, Anyway, where we actually do it. I'll uh, I'll run through it with you all uh, But right now I'm waiting on my argon tank to still come back. Uh, they've had it for two weeks And it's still not back from getting filled. So I own the tank so they can't just swap it out. So um, It's kind of a pain in the ass, but it is what it is um, the other thing is uh, we're probably going to swap these risers because these are standard risers um, And there is no rubber anywhere in this system. So these things Vibrate like crazy um, so much so that you see my mirror bolt broke off the other day when I went out to Harley uh, to get that uh, seal so Yeah, lots of fun. Luckily I was holding on to the mirror and uh, it broke off my hand. So uh, we'll fix that um, but I think I'm gonna start looking for some uh, Springer risers that have some rubber in them to help dampen this so we don't lose any more parts um, But yeah, other than that uh, If anybody's interested this bike is for sale uh, 10 G's will take it. It is in Virginia um, So if you all are interested send me an email uh, It's in my on my page link. So um, Yeah, we gotta get on to the sporty uh, if we're gonna have any chance of doing Bill Well People's Choice, uh, we need to get that thing up on the the old Instagram because we need to increase our content on there in order for them to pick us. Uh, the first selection is supposed to come out October first, so uh, if we're gonna have any chance of getting in there, we need to get started on that thing, start posting some stuff on the old social media because that rules the world these days. So. Um, yeah, so in that case, shovel's got to go. So we need room. Um, so if you're interested, hit me up. Uh, it's an 80, 79 motor, 65 trans. All the stuff's in the other videos. So uh, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, take care, everybody. We'll see you soon.